Hello and welcome to My Goran Project, my personal video project for this year. If you don't know what My Goran Project is, please look in the description and you will find everything you need to know there. <sighs> That footage was from the set of Australians, a new sci-fi comedy coming out in Brisbane City and around the world, hopefully. Please go check it out. So today I'm going to be talking about boyfriends. Specifically, heterosexual relationships, because that's what I'm familiar with. And more importantly, what I still keep seeing from relationships around me, and I'm just sick and tired of seeing it. I have a friend that was female, and I saw her at a party, and I said, hey, how's it going? She said, yeah, not so good. Can we talk over there? I say, yeah, sure. So we go over there and talk. We get interrupted by a boyfriend. That sounds okay. Okay, fine. Okay, how you doing? Nice to see you. Blah, blah, blah. She walks off because she's too awkward to talk about the problem. He then walks off as well. Okay, that's that's a little strange, but that's fine. So I decide later on to try and follow her up because she looked quite upset. And I said, okay, why don't we talk over there where we can't really be seen? So we do. And we couldn't have been gone for more than two minutes when the boyfriend finds us again and stands near us. At this point, I am finding out that the problem is, in fact, the boyfriend. So I make my excuses. I say, oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm just having a bit of a DNM with her. I've, you know, I'm dealing with with something personal right now and blah 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 can you just give us a minute and he looks like he's gonna stick around I'm a bit perturbed at this point he doesn't get the message yet and as he starts to lean like he's about to settle in and listen I say nice as I can uh this is a bit personal mate do you mind and he says to me in a snarky way yeah well I don't have to listen man but you're running off my girlfriend what do you expect uh, what do I expect? Perhaps maybe you treating her like a human being that can actually make her own decisions and not cheat on you the minute you're not looking at her. And I've seen this behavior before and it absolutely drives me up the wall. Another friend of mine had to deal with a boyfriend like this where we were at a party and he asked this girl to help him with his cyberlocks. And she goes upstairs with him to his bedroom so that she can help him put on the cyberlocks on his hair. Nothing else. And to be absolutely clear, the door was open. But about 30 seconds to a minute later, the angry boyfriend runs in, starts this verbal tirade on my friend and my friend has just had enough and basically gave the same response that I did. I am sick and tired of boyfriends treating their girlfriends like they actually can't make decisions without them around. When I'm in a relationship with someone, I would feel perfectly comfortable leaving them in a bar of guys because I trust her. If I found out that she cheated on me, I would break up with her. It doesn't matter whether you think it's good for her or whatever stupid excuse you might have in your head. Your girlfriend should be able to talk to someone of the opposite gender for five to ten minutes at a party without you pressuring her not to talk to them because you think she might be stooping them in the next two minutes if you're not around. And it's not just this kind of behavior as well that's unacceptable. Keeping an eye on her 24-7, telling her where she can go, what she can do, and who she can see, it's not on. Now the issue might be that you don't want this girl to be near this person that you know is a known sleazebag. But guess what? You can't forbid her to see someone. You can say, this is not comfortable for me. You can say, if you continue to see him, I'm going to find it difficult to continue this relationship. Both of these things are true because for whatever reason, you might not be able to trust him. And if she's with him, paranoia might start. I know the feeling. If you decide to come to a decision together about whether you should see a person or not, that's perfectly acceptable. You don't get to dictate her decisions. You don't get to forbid her. You don't get to watch her. That's not how this shit works. Girls, I'm sorry if you've deal with these kind of blokes or are currently still dealing with these blokes. If you are, get rid of them. So that's my late video for Wednesday. I'm sorry it was so short and ranty. As soon as I turn off this camera, I'm going to start working on the next video. So you'll probably see both these videos on Sunday, which means I will see you on Wednesday. See ya.